What's going on, agents? After taking most of the summer break off for some much-needed R&R, I have been diving into Update 1.7 and global events and have had a great time experimenting with the limitless combinations of gear sets combined with the Ninja Bike Messenger bag. And in today's build guide video, I'm going to show you how to make the Buzzinator kit, which shreds elite-level NPCs. Thank you for consistently checking out my Division Build Guide videos, and I think you are really going to like this gear set I have put together for today's video. So without wasting any further time, let's jump right into how to assemble the Buzzinator. Starting off with the Tactician's Authority Vest, rolled for a main stat roll of Electronics. A large health roll and enemy armor damage are used as the major attributes, and ammo capacity is always a solid selection when running solo for your minor attribute. Both superior firearms mods come with a maximum of 3% damage to elites. I used the defense mask rolled in firearms along with more enemy armor damage for the major attribute and very important that you have damage to elites as your minor attribute. I finished off the mask by once again equipping a superior firearms mod with 3% damage to elites. I used the defense knee pads for this build and mine have a stamina main stat roll along with a large health roll as the major attribute. Since I was using this kit to solo outbreak challenge difficulty missions on modifier 1, the extra health is essential to staying alive while in close proximity to contaminated NPCs. Damage to elites is once again essential to have in the minor attribute selections. The beauty and flexibility in this Buzzinator build is centered around the Ninja Bike Messenger Bag, and for this build I have equipped one with an Electronics main stat roll. I have also rolled for a large Skill Power major attribute and have equipped another Superior Firearms mod with damage to Elites, along with two 6% First Aid Self Heal performance mods. My second piece of Tactician's Authority gear are the Gloves, rolled for a near perfect Electronics main stat roll. Major attributes include Assault Rifle Damage, more Enemy Armor Damage, and Critical Hit Chance. For the holster, I have chosen to equip a Holster of the Nomad, with 1200 plus in all three main stat rolls. A 7% Skill Haste roll and 6% First Aid Self Heal Performance mod finish off the gear for this build. For the weaponry, I have again dusted off my awesome enhanced ACRE with 22% enemy armor damage, high base damage roll, and destructive, ferocious, and determined weapon talents. Mods include a 121% extended magazine with rate of fire, headshot damage scope, headshot damage suppressor, and critical hit damage small grip. In my past build guide videos, I have received numerous comments asking to showcase a bit of sniper gunplay. So for this build, I broke out my M700 Carbon with near maxed out headshot damage, decent base damage roll, and ferocious, cool-headed, and elevated weapon talents. Mods for my M700 include a 121% extended magazine with reload speed, headshot damage scope with critical hit damage and chance, headshot damage suppressor, and critical hit damage small grip. My sniper aim is a bit rusty since I have recently been playing quite a bit of Warframe, but for the outbreak global events, downing NPCs from range is recommended to avoid the contamination clouds. For the Buzzinator build, I have equipped the Active Sensor Turret for extra damage versus NPCs and to keep them occupied while I am reloading, along with the Overdose First Aid Self Heal mod. Talents for this build are Critical Save, On the Move, Precision, and One is None. If you've been doing the tallies, this build through the use of the Ninja Bike Messenger Bag will give us the 3 piece defense bonus for equipping 2 pieces of defense gear for 15% protection from elites and 10% damage to elites. 15% skill haste and 10% skill power for equipping 2 pieces of Tactician's Authority gear and 15% health on kill for equipping 1 piece of Nomad gear. Altogether, including weapon talents, this build will give you 60% damage to elites, 57% enemy armor damage, 15% health on kill, and 22% skill haste. To showcase the Buzzinator build's potential, I have included a solo run-through of Hudson Challenge Difficulty Solo with Outbreak Modifier 1 enabled. 
And for now, I'm going to go ahead and sign off, but I look forward to reading your thoughts in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate this Bill Guy video with a huge thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. If you want some more Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and my division content in your lives, make sure to pound that sub button and follow me on Twitter at Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer. And remember for my channel, likes, comments, subs are loved. Until my next The Division video, this has been Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer saying peace out.